My name is Jay Monroe Johnson. Welcome to Perfect Word Media, Spiritual Grandpa Live 100. I want you to understand the truth of this extraordinary crime that's been perpetrated against my mother, Eugenia R. Collins, an 83 year of age, retired Alabama High School guidance counselor. You have the district attorney of Marshall County providing police protection for a multi-million dollar crime by a banker, Margaret Lacey. When the Supreme Court ruling was released April the 15th, 2011, Margaret Lacey gave away my mother's $40,000 bank savings. She did that attempting to force Eugenia, my mother, into unjust forced bank foreclosure. And you've got the district attorney's office providing that banker with cover by awarding Eugenia zero restitution in that $40,000 theft, even though they convicted a thief who was involved in this conspiracy that cashed stolen checks in order to get the money. Okay, then the banker returns to the scene of the crime. You got a banker robbing a small, relatively small, privately owned finance company. So you got one bank robbing another bank repeatedly, and you got the police showing up to protect the banker, bank robber. So help me God, it's true. The second time, the sheriff conspires with this same banker and they sabotage Eugenia through theft and slander. And then the sheriff is rebuked and scolded and ordered by U.S. District Court Judge Anne Marie Carney Axon to stop violating Eugenia's 14th Amendment. And so help me God, he violates it again by refusing to take a rampant theft, $300,000 vehicle theft report. And then when he was forced to take it through a deputy on the last day that could be taken, the 364th day, he then dismisses the case and blames Eugenia and says she refused to cooperate with the investigation. He is in direct contempt of federal United States District Court Judge Anne Marie Carney's federal mandate to stop violating Eugenia's 14th Amendment. Again, the banker, Margaret Lacey, continues to receive police protection as she engages in multi-million dollar real estate crimes against Eugenia to gain favor with the authorities who were rebuked in a $5 million extortion scheme by the Supreme Court of Alabama in case number 1051726, -1 and we've never received a penny, and the county continues to commit felony crimes against us, and we've never even had a speeding ticket. We've been there for 24 years, not even a speeding ticket, and the county continues to perpetrate felony multi-million dollar crimes against Eugenia and Eugenia's associates. This led to the untimely death of her chief financial officer, a high priest in the Melchizedek Priesthood for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's Roger Coit Chapel, a World War II, war disabled, war hero. So help me God, we need help. Yeah, we do.